Never has an experimental vaccine been more eagerly anticipated. One that could not only prevent deaths from coronavirus, but return our lives to normal. ELISA is the first of more than 5,000 volunteers who'll have the jab, called CHADOX-1, over the next five months as part of clinical trials to confirm whether it's safe and effective. I'm a scientist, so of course I want to try and support science, um, the scientific process, whenever I can. And uh, since I don't study viruses, I felt a bit useless these days, so <laughs> I felt like this is a very easy way for me to support the cause. Scientists at Oxford University have combined some of the coronavirus's genetic material with a harmless version of a common cold virus, which is highly effective at infecting human cells and stimulating an immune response. One of the senior scientists told me it's proven technology already used to make vaccines against Ebola and several other diseases. There is a lot of expectation on waiting for a vaccine and I generally think that this vaccine has an extremely strong chance of working compared to many of the other technologies that are out there. Manufacturing could also be a challenge. Sky News was given rare access to one of the factories now grappling with the problem of making one million doses by September while clinical trials are still underway. There's no guarantee they'll be able to scale up production. What normally takes five years of trial and error for a new vaccine is being done in just five months. The real challenge with this situation, it's fast track, uh, it's a dash for doses and we really need to be in a position where we can deliver those doses for clinical trials and hopefully approval um, by the end of the year. Until three weeks ago this was just a, a green grassy field. Millions more doses will be needed. Construction has just started on a government-funded vaccine manufacturing centre with the capacity to make one dose for every person in the country in just four months. But it won't be ready until next summer. What has been the delay and why couldn't we have done it sooner? Well, I think actually the, the government was fairly forward-thinking on this compared to uh, other, other countries. So, uh, you know, within Europe, this is the only type of facility of its sort. And, uh, you know, nobody could predict that, uh, that uh, COVID-19 was going to come along in the way when it did. Um, if it had been two years later, the facility would have been here and we'd all have been ready. It's barely four months since a totally new virus began spreading in China, yet already scientists have an experimental vaccine to test on volunteers. We can but hope. Thomas Moore, Sky News in Oxford.